Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll take an opening statement before questions. I mean, the, there was like two or three waves in this game that, that uh, you know, we're, we didn't handle, like we didn't score right away on the power play and, and we had some great looks. I thought Strauss Mann was outstanding early in the game uh, when I thought we had, a, we had a very good first period. Uh, they get a, they get a, you know, a puck bounces off Nelly's skate and boom, we're down one, nothing. Uh, and we couldn't have had a better first period. Second period, we couldn't have been more off how we want to play. And once they, they, you know, we did tie it, but we had frustration on the bench. Uh, um, it, you know, and it's, this is one of the things we got to learn when we get tough, tight games like this, that we got to stick to it. And then we were chasing the game. We had a strong third period and I give Michigan, you know, Michigan's, they had a bunch of players that were the best players on the ice tonight. And that's, and that's what frustrates me a little bit um, where, you know, when, when the game got really tough, I felt their guys, we got frustrated, started pressing, their guys rose to the occasion. We'll now take questions for coach. Bob, you said one of the things coming down the stretch here is you didn't want to see a roller coaster to your team. How do you, how do you level things out and, and adjust going forward to tomorrow night in well, the tournament? Well, I, I mean, I, I think this was a good, you know, it's going to end up being a good lesson for us because we're going to be in real tough games. And if you, and the, we have, we have a, a, a mentality. We want to have the lead. We want to be out in front. We want to have our, our controlling the game. Well, every once in a while, you know, teams are going to bite back and that's where we have not played well in a few of those games. And they've all been at home where teams bite back on us to take a lead. And we have a different look and feel on the bench. And we got to wipe that out. Like we have to, you know, and we, we've got another chance tomorrow. We got our tournament to, to continue to play in these tight games. And, and we have, we have to rise up and be a better team tomorrow through 60 minutes. Bob, you got that goal to make it three, two, and then it looked like your team sagged a little bit. Was there, was there a relax there or what happened at that point? No. No, we, we were having a strong third period and then we got guys stuck out on the rink too long and they were tired and, you know, we, you know, we make a bad pinch and, you know, a, a bad angle shot goes off a pipe and we got to have that. And, you know, it's a freaky play. I mean, we had, we had numbers back on that, um, but we, we were leaning on our sticks and tired, you know, we were pressing and uh, we were, if, we were ready to play to the, you know, we what four or five minutes to go there after we tied it or after we made it three, two, and, you know, we make a mistake and they countered it. I was going to say with that, with the first period your team played, you know, any fears of rust seemed to go away. It looked like they were, looked like they had some jump right away. Yep. We did. I, I just didn't like our mentality. I, I, it's hard for me to explain, but when, we, when we got down, uh, you know, we tied it through good feel on the bench. Then we got down. It was, it was like a minute and a half later. Or two, you know, and you could just feel us get deflated on the bench. Like that's not supposed to happen to us. And we've got to have a little more maturity in us than, than that. Bob, do you feel your team uh, just lacked a little bit of energy in the second there when when Michigan made its push? I, they had more. I can tell you that. That's where I thought the, you know, there was about an eight minute span there in the second period where I, I thought Michigan was taking the game over, and and. When we, when we we're pressing, we did not like we our passing was off. We weren't getting on top of pucks, and it just didn't. You know, we and sometimes that happens, and you got to survive it. You got to battle through it, and we don't. And we didn't battle through it. Give Michigan credit. Anything else for Coach Motzko? Hi, Coach. What was the message to the team in the locker room after a tough loss like tonight? Well, it was, you know, I, you know, we were, we were very, we were calm because it, it, it you know, I, I, we're pretty late in the season to be learning a lesson, but we cannot let that frustration ever mount at any point with us. And that's what we were disappointed with. And, and we were disappointed. We had a, we had a handful of guys that did not have good games tonight. and. Uh, 
and we had, there were a handful of Michigan guys that had way better games than our guys. Um, you know, and it, it showed up in a big game where that's where we were making some critical mistakes. And we had a handful of guys who were playing their tails off too, but you know, we had to rise up together as a unit and you know, that's the lesson we have to, we have to counter. People are going to punch back on us and we can't ever get frustrated. We got to stick tight and stick together. Bob, it seemed like the, the chain sometimes would break. Is that yeah. something you're looking for tomorrow night? Is just more consistency? You know, you see sometimes that Myers line, that play leads up to the Ranta goal to change the momentum. Is that no, what we, you're looking for? Yeah, I mean, we, we stay like, like, there's a great example is, is uh, uh, the line right before had great pressure and we made a line change in the offensive zone and got fresh troops out. And so we kept, we kept, and they were able to make a change. That's a great hockey play where we're unselfish, making great plays. And, you know, but there were way too many times we were, you know, we were out there, we're like, your heart's trying to like, like on the one, one goal we gave up, like we're trying to make a play. So we throw a backhand pass, blind pass in front of the net. When late in the shift, it's a hope and pray play. We have to back check 200 feet. They end up scoring a goal. Like, you know, their hearts in the right place, trying to make a good play but we have to have our intelligence taking over to keep the chain connected and keep going. But when you're panicking and you got a little, when you got a little bit of panic in your game, you do uncharacteristic things. And that, that's a great example where it was really a poor play on the goal against. And it was an, it was incredibly great play on our goal four of unselfishness and in two lines being part of it. So I, I made a little long in my, but that was kind of a microcosm of the game. With that, we'll say thank you, Coach, and we will talk to you tomorrow. We will now take questions from Sampo Ranta. Sampo, uh, how frustrating was it uh, their goalie had quite a, quite a good game tonight? Uh, they really tough to solve him. Yeah, you know, he had a good game. Um, I just think we, we had our chances, but, uh, you know, like you said, he played well, but we just got to get traffic in front of the net and, you know, we just got to be better. Sampo, your coach talked about how much jump your team had in the first period. What a great first period you played. You didn't get a goal out of it, but, you know, just how eager were you guys to play after 12 days off? It didn't look like there was a lot of rust out there. No, we had a good first period, but um, like you said, we didn't score. And um, <laughs> yeah, we had our chances, but, um, you know, it was good jump. We had a lot of, a lot of energy right out of the gates. So it was good, but wasn't enough today. Sample, what do you take out of a game like tonight where you have a good start and you're getting lots of chances, but at the same time, the bounces go the other way. What do you take out of it moving forward? Um, you know, we, we, we got about full 60. It's uh that's the thing. If you, if you want to win a hockey game, you have to be good the entire game. So you know, just, just being patient and, you know, if, if we don't score first, we still have to, you know, you know, push back and not get down. So uh, we, we, we're taking a good things out of this one, but uh, we'll be a lot better tomorrow. Do you, do you see anything in the goals against when in a game like this that you can take messaging from and apply to tomorrow? Um, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the goals yet, but uh I can't remember how they were, but, uh, you know, they, they have a lot of a lot of skill in that team. So defensively, we, we have to have good sticks and, you know, come back hard and, uh, you know, help, 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 help our year out. Anything else for Sampo? Sampo, do you, do you look at the out-of-town scoreboard at all and see what Wisconsin did, or are you just focused on yourself at this point? Uh, we're focusing on our team right now. Uh, no matter what, we have to come back tomorrow and win. Uh, you know, it's we we have to answer the bell here and um, you know play, play a good game and you know end the end the regular season with the win. Thank you, Sam, Sam. On your goal, you got to take a shift after the other line before you had kind of maintained possession. How how nice was that for for stepping on the ice and getting a goal quick? Yeah, it was good. You know, the line before us, they had a great shift down low. You know, they worked their D and uh, they, they had a good line change. And we got fresh bodies out there and 
Faber made a great play, cross box, right to my right to my tape, and you know I got the shot up. So it, it was it was a good shift. Did you know you were out there against tired guys and maybe take your time a little bit picking your shot there? Yeah, we knew they they've been out there for a while. Um, like I said, the line before us, they they had a really good line change. So it's it it's it's you know it's a good a good spot to go out there when you're fresh and the other team's tired. So yeah. Sample on the on the power play, the puck movement has been really good for your team. Your ki- coach keeps talking about that, but the the goals aren't happening. What what's going on there, and, and, and how frustrating is that? Uh, you know, it's frustrating for sure you, when you're not scoring and you have good chances. But uh, it, it's coming. You know, we, we had a lot of good players on on power play, so I mean, we, we just have to execute. I, you know, I think when we get one, we we get a lot more. It's it's just a I guess a confidence thing, and um, you know, we have to keep moving the puck making the place we we need to we need to make so i, I think it's coming but uh yeah, yeah it's 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 uh it's frustrating for sure thank you and with that we will say thank you to sampo and we will talk to you soon thank you bryce thanks for joining us we'll now take questions for bryce brodzinski Bryce, what do you take out of a game like tonight against Michigan? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just think that they, they wanted it a little bit more than we did. I think, um, you know, we had too many guys that were, um, you know, sort of focused on other things rather than, um, you know, winning this game. You know, obviously, you know, the Big Ten championships in, in contention right now. And, um, you know, I think we were focused a little too much on that instead of just winning this hockey game. Is there any kind of detail to the, the game that you think – needs to change for tomorrow? I mean, I think, I think we worked hard. I thought we, you know, outplayed them in the first and the third and they, um, you know, they, they outworked us in the second and um, you know, what, what we take away from the first and the third is, you know, we were, we were supporting each other. We were on pucks together instead of, you know, in the second period, we were sort of, you know, going at pucks individually and um, you know, one at a time. And even if we want to battle, it would go to them and um, you know, just kind of sort of staying connected and um, you know, supporting each other on the ice so that we can win those battles. Bryce, your coach said he, he really liked your first period. You know, you come out of it down one nothing, but he said he really liked the jump. And, and you know, what do you do to avoid rust after 12 days off and, and, and have a first period like you did where you had 16 shots? I mean, obviously, it's it's nice having that extra weekend off to sort of rest. And um, but I mean, I mean, you know, we 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 are uh, still kind of in it. You know, last weekend we, um, you know, we, we kind of played games and, you know, sort of kept in the feel of, you know, playing hockey games. So. Um, you know, there wasn't too much rust to kick off considering we practiced uh, basically every day. And so, um, yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, Bryce, after your goal and after samples, Michigan responded with quite a bit of pressure. What do you guys have to do to, to uh, stop that? I think we, you know, we, we need to win the next shift. I think there is, you know, on both the goals, they, they had the better shift right after the goal. And, um, you know, I think we're just sort of getting too into the goal and not, you know, you know, like I said, focusing on the hockey game and, um, and I think if we win the shift after a goal, it's it's a uh, really big momentum into the next goal. On your goal, it looked like there's a lot of chaos created by some shots going to the net. What did what did you see during that play? And and you kind of made the decision to pull it back from the traffic a little bit there. What what goes into that? Yeah, I mean, I it, it was the end of the power play, so you know they just got back five on five, and so there was just um, you know we were kind of throwing pucks at net because um, seams were kind of closing because they have five guys back and. Um, you know, a puck just ended up in my feet and I noticed a little bit of open space in between the hash marks. And so I just, you know, sort of kicked it up to my stick and um, found a little bit of open ice and shot into a spot that I thought might be open, um, considering there's a lot of chaos and the goalie was down. Um, luckily, it found a spot. Are there any lessons from that that you think you can take going forward? I mean, I, I just think that, um, you know, like I said, just winning puck battles and um, supporting our teammates was something we need to do. Anything else for Bryce? Bryce, you mentioned the power play. I mean, is it getting frustrating? You know, you guys seem like you're getting good looks and just everything but the red light. What What do you What do you need to do? Yeah, I mean, like, like you said, like I think we're or the thing we're doing good is just, um, you know, sometimes the puck won't bounce our way in, but um, you know, I think I think we're doing good. I don't think we really need to change anything. I think we, you know, get the looks that we want to get, and um, you know, sometimes just pucks just don't bounce our way, and but you know what? That that's a game of hockey, and you know that's what we signed up for, and. Um, I think we just need to be a little bit harder on the pucks. 
And what do you think of Struss Man tonight? You, you know, he's had a couple of good games in in this building against your team. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a really good player, and um, you know, there was a few times where we threw a puck on net, and there'd be a rebound in front, and um, you know, that was something that that we preached all night was that we knew uh, rebounds would be coming, and um, you know, we just weren't getting to the front of the net like we wanted to, and um, you know, that's that's on their D. Their D are really good. They're really solid defensemen. Um, you know, they they know how to play, and so we just need to get in there. Thank you. With that, we'll say thank you to Bryce Brodzinski and thank you to our media members. We'll talk to you tomorrow.